सो इन द क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन सम डेटा डीलर्स लोकेशन वन प्लस एंड बी बी के इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो वी आर गिवन डेटा अबाउट वन प्लस एंड बी बी के इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड आर क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द पॉपुलेशन स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन ऑफ सेल्स ऑफ वन प्लस सो वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन द डेटा ऑफ वन प्लस सो बेसिकली द फर्स्ट थिंग इज वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द मीन सो टू फाइंड आउट द मीन वी कैन चेक आउट वी हैव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंट्रीज ओके नाउ लेट्स फाइंड आउट द सम सो वी हैव टू फाइंड फॉर वन प्लस सो इट वुड बी सिक्स प्लस ओके इट्स थ्री टाइम्स सिक्स प्लस टू टाइम्स टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फाइव on solving this we get 18 plus 4 plus 8 which comes out to be 18 plus 12 which is 30 right so the total sum is 30 and we have seven entries so mean comes out to be 30 by 7 this is our mean represented by x bar okay so now the formula for standard deviation as we know is summation of xi minus x bar whole square divided by number of terms and whole root of this right so let's solve it so let's put in the values and obviously we are going to use calculators because the values are not that good x bar comes out to be approximately equals to 4.28 okay so the summation comes out to be 21.42 divided by 7 whole root and this comes out to be 3.06 whole root and our final answer comes out to be 1.74 so this would be our final answer with that let's move to the next question number 3 so in question number 3 we are given we are given that what is the sample standard deviation of sales of bbk electronics so this time we have to calculate the sample standard deviation of bbk electronics so again let's first calculate the mean so let's calculate the sum it would be 10 plus 12 plus 11 plus 13 plus 18 plus 17 plus 18 okay so this would be the total sum and we have to divide it with the total number of values that is 7 so let's solve it we get 22 plus 24 plus 35 plus 18 by 7 which comes out to be 99 upon 7 so our mean comes out to be 99 upon 7 and the formula of sample standard deviation is equals to sigma is equals to summation of xi minus x bar whole square upon this time it will be n minus 1 whole root over so this is the formula so let's put in the values so as we have got the mean so our mean is approximately equals to 14 14 so if we put in the values of sigma we will basically get 11.809 root over and this approximately comes out to be 3.43 which would be our final answer okay so with that let's move to the next question so our next question is question number 4 What is the sample covariance between the sales of one plus and BBK? Okay, so we have to find the sample covariance. So the formula for sample covariance is given as uh, let's represent it by x uh, s x y. So the formula is summation x i upon x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar. basically first data set i am representing through x and the second data set i am representing through y where x bar and y bar are the means of that data and divided by n minus 1 where n is the total number of values we are having okay so we calculated both the means in this video only so x bar came out to be 4.28 and y bar came out to be 14. One four. So now let's put in the values, and if you put in the values, 
you get for the first one you get 7.10 minus then plus for the second one we get minus 3.67 for the third one we get minus 5.38 then we get plus 2.61 then plus minus 4.95 plus 2.04 plus minus 8.81 so this is the summation which is uh, divided by n minus 1 that is 7 minus 1 so on further calculating this we get sxy is equals to minus 25.28 divided by 6 which on solving comes out to be 4.21 so this comes out to be our final answer. Before moving to the last question of this data set, I would like to request you to please subscribe to our channel and if you find the explanation good, please like the video so that we get the motivation to make more such videos. Okay, so now we come to the last question related to this data set which is what is the correlation coefficient between the sales of OnePlus and BBK Electronics? The formula of correlation coefficient is, let's represent correlation coefficient with R. So it is given as summation of xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar. Again, I am representing one data set with x and another with y and x bar and y bar represent their mean values. Okay, and this would be divided by summation of xi minus x bar whole square into summation of yi minus y bar whole square whole root over okay so this is going to be the formula and notice that in the numerator it is summation of xi minus x bar multiplied with yi minus yr and in the denominator we have two submissions multiplied with each other okay so we calculated most of these values before only so we know x bar is given as 4.28 as we calculated it y bar we got as 14.14 right and then xi minus x bar came out to be okay wait we know the value of multiplication only so xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar this came out to be mi minus 25.28 okay and xi minus x bar whole square this came out to be 21.42 and yi minus y bar whole square this came out to be 70.85 in our previous problems we already got all these values okay so we just have to substitute them so let's see on substituting we get minus 25.28 divided by 21.42 into 70.85 okay and we have to take root of this right so i have to use calculator for this obviously so after using the calculator we get final answer as 0.64 8 so you can represent this as approximately minus 0 0.65 thanks for watching guys next five questions will be uploaded soon